There's a beauty to flowers that just really made me think how grateful I am for God's creation. I love taking my daughter out and just showing her the little tricks and trades of being a gardener and how beautiful it can be. I hope when she grows up that I can just teach her how to be thankful and grateful for the beauty all around us and I just love how amazing it is what we have, where we live with the flowers, the great of the land, just everything that we have that we can be grateful and thankful for. So in this garden flower tour I am sharing with you, I just want you to think about the beauty all around you, where you are at in your day-to-day -day life, to find just beauty in everything and be grateful and thankful to our Lord that he has given that to us. And again, I am just so blessed and thankful for that. My front yard landscape is now two years in the making. Some of the flowers I did just plant this year. I also love my front step. The mat was from Walmart, I believe, and I just really enjoy the rustic look with terracotta planters, old galvanized buckets and tins, and then just the blooming of the flowers just make me want to sigh with amazement and how gorgeous and bright the pink flowers can be and how bright the white eucalyptus plant is and just knowing that each plant was created and designed by God just like we are. My back patio flowers are not quite as elegant as they were last year but I do love just combining terracotta with crates and rustic looking tins and lanterns and things like that. And I just like the simplicity of it. And my little chair was a thrift store find. The majority of all of my pots and decor are thrifted or garage sale finds. The rug was from Walmart last year. And if it's still available, I'll try to put it in the description box below. The thrifted pillow from my last thrift haul and using the stumps as a natural element to decorate is something that I really like to do. So I just have a conglomeration of plants and here I have some chives that I just keep potted because they will take over in your yard if you don't pot them. My little shade garden was a mess when we moved into the house a couple years ago. And I just love the ground cover that I have. I have a few ferns, a couple daylilies, and the grasses. And it's just very simple, but simple is great. And beautiful flowers are finely blooming. It takes a few years to get them established, but I love it. And it's just always great to look at in the mornings when the sun is just shining right on them. In this video, I am also sharing with you a review of the ABBA Patio Amazon store with some string lights I got. They are beautiful um, lights. However, I'm just going to be honest with my review and share a few things that I liked and disliked about them. So I strung them along my fence in my backyard, along my shade garden area and the directions that they sent were very outdated so that's one drawback to them it even said the wrong type of battery to put in there so um, the direction and then the box you get are totally different um, they're still really great lights it comes with a remote that you can click from inside your house you got to be about 20 yards away at max and so I just think it's fun how they change modes to like twinkling, slow fade, or constant. And I like bright white lights. So of course I'm gonna pick the bright white. I appreciated them sending me this to review. And I will put a link in the description box below if you wanna go check out some of their 
um, home and garden products that they have for you. I do like the lights. They're just some drawbacks, of course, because they didn't send the right up-to-date directions. I mentioned this before that I love using thrifted items. This ladder was a thrift find and I just think it adds a nice layered look and texture. My pots are so full and vibrant with different color. Uh, the potato vine is just taking over. My little sage plant is doing great and I love having little herbs here and there. Moss roses are one of my favorites as well and they just have cute little flowers on them. The yellow just pops. This area is newly planted other than the grasses with some wild mint and some ground coverage, the hosta, another eucalyptus plant, and some rosemary. I love the idea of just spreading flowers throughout my whole backyard and making it gorgeous and beautiful.